word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I'm Devin and I'm here with Emma. Wow, you're on like extra speed fast. 1.5. I'm on uh, I'm with CJ. That's a good idea though. If we just speak quickly and then start back on the playback. <laughs> <laughs> how, oh, how, are, how are you doing? I'm fine this evening. I like to tell everyone. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> and sold. And I'm here with Maxi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> when you slow it down, it drops your voice down, doesn't it? So you have to go high pitch. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> hello. You, you will sound hello. The reason, with- hello. the reason why I'm uh, going extra, extra fast is because we have time restraints and I want to get everything off my chest as oh. quickly as possible. Oh, Ooh, you got a lot on your chest um, this week. Alexander's uh, away this week. No, yes. I, 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 I'm, I, I've seen his chest. I'm surprised he has one. <laughs> 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 um, I just want to straight away get into something that okay. I saw that okay. I think will intrigue you guys. So I just want to ask you about your philosophy about recycling quickly. Oh. Oh. Oh, I might know what you're going to talk about. My philosophy <laughs> is recycle when you can. Recycle you when you can? Re- That's good. Emma? Uh, fantastic. Yeah. Recycle. Recycle. CJ, how much do you recycle? Yeah, reci- I separate my garbage and i have my recycling bin at home yeah i also recycle my cans yep i recycle the glass i recycle (laughs) you recycle (laughs) you look for that triangle so we're saying recycling is awesome yes well there's this there's this thing in vietnam where the police have busted into a factory where they've caught this company recycling condoms they've caught them recycling over three hundred thousand condoms like used condoms you don't recycle your condoms <laughs> <laughs> I, recycle, I recycle them all the time <laughs> what <laughs> yeah <laughs> what do you mean they recycling co- uh, used condoms used condoms well long yeah, but they separate the sperm and the condom how do you, make, it, how do you make them go back into the little circle <laughs> <laughs> I don't know <laughs> But Wait, let me see. Maxi, Maxi, no. you said you thought you knew what I was going to talk about. What was, what no, was your... I, thought, I thought you were going to tell me about how ineffective it is, but now you're talking about condoms. <laughs> I didn't think you were going that direction. <laughs> so yeah. it's still ineffective. Yes. Um, um, like, 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 how, how do you get a like in that little like circle and it starts off with? If they're out, yeah. how do you get it back in? I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. It says know. police in Vietnam have confiscated an estimated 345,000 of them. Yeah. Yeah. And they're cleaned and resold as new. Yes. Whoa. Yes. The condom is sold, resold as a condom. Sorry, I, I forgot to add that as a thing. It's not recycled. So my assumption to make it... was like it was taken, broken down, cleaned, and then turned into some other kind of rubber, you know? Yeah. But not that they, they literally keep it as a condom. As a condom. Yeah. And Large they just wash it up. Is, it, bags is, it, is it taken down, broken down, cleaned, and all that? They made some more condoms? No, no, no. They clean it out and then they, like what you're doing, they roll know. it up and they make it into new condoms. How do you, how do you roll it back up again? <laughs> <laughs> They've got large bags have to containing say, them. Ma- maybe some of those boys aren't stretching it out as much as it should be stretched. <laughs> you can, it's not hard to roll it up, is it? Can't, can't you just put it over something which is like, I don't know, an eggplant or something, and then you just roll it from the bottom up. Oh, and it yes. I never itself. thought of that, man. Yeah. And why would you say eggplant? <laughs> what they do, out more they than the average the use penis, I guess. prophylactics, whatever that is, boil them in water, dried them, reshaped them on a wooden phallus yeah. <laughs> before being repackaged that's and ex- resold. That's, that's what uh, Maxi was saying. So, yeah. Not a wooden phallus, but the same same theory. Oh, they it, don't use eggplants? Eggplant phallus. Yeah. <laughs> the, the eggplant I was, was so sure work. there'd just be a load of eggplants in that factory. <laughs> the woman who was detained there said she got 17 cents for every telegram of recycled condoms that she produced. Wow. Every telegram? I don't know what that means. What, Is that kilogram? That like, Are you sure that's not like... Um... I reckon it was kilogram. But that's... No, no. It has to be telegram because kilogram is too much. It has to be something... Telegram? What's, what's Terra- telegram? Or... Tele- telegram. Tele- I don't know. What's that in weight? I reckon they just miss, it's, miss... How do you spell it? Like a telegram like that you used to give back in the war days. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think that's just... Terror. I reckon that's a, mis, a misspelling. But she doesn't, she doesn't obviously get much. Well, that is... She oh, must have I don't know fingers. about that. I'm not sure about that what? recycling program. 
She must have little fingers to roll them up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're obsessed with this rolling up. I know, of, uh, you love this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just a quick... Just quick, okay. um, Thank you for that, just Jeff. something that I briefly saw, and I thought that it'd be a great way to get the energy up on and, the podcast. And, uh, and, 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 and oddly, oddly enough, a lot of those condoms were briefly used. <laughs> 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 it's a good way, it's a good way to, um, if you're a virgin, to practice using them. Take a job in the factory, yeah. why oh. <laughs> by rolling them back up. <laughs> I mean, you could you could go up and then back again just to you know get used to the mechanism of it all. <laughs> Man, I wish I worked in the one before. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh yeah, the first time was a shocker. You're trying to remember? <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow <laughs> when you figure it out. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know how this works? <laughs> <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, next article. There's a new type of travel since the whole coronavirus shenanigans. Um, I guess people are missing flying. People so, are missing travel. You know what? There are a lot of people that are starting to post a lot of their old photos to say, and they uh, the caption is, I miss travel. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I said it like that, but I, mean, I miss travel. That's how you read it, right? Because, <laughs> because, because, the, because they're childish. Is it what childish? You like, no, no. It, that's a passion. It, 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 when, when this is all sorted, yeah. you're going to be able to travel again. Do you, not for a while. It's going to be a little while, but like, so... Not in Australia anyway. In different countries around the world, um, I guess the airlines are like, okay, people are missing travel. Let's see what we can do then. Mm. So, for example... Um, example, example. Uh, this week, Qantas, which is an uh, Australian airline, were selling tickets that were between $787 and $3,787 for basically a 787 Dreamliner to take off from Sydney and land back in Sydney and it travels at low altitudes across um, Uluru, which is Ayers Rock, old Ayers Rock, Great Barrier Reef, Sydney Harbour. So you just do like a... You do a just mini tour. A you little do a mini, mini tour, tour, low altitude. And you see all the all the sights of Australia. They've called this one the Great Southern Land. You're going to have the shits if you don't get a window seat. Oh, but this one <laughs> sold out in absolutely minutes. It sold out in minutes. Well, they sold out. If, they if, sold people in the, if you're in the middle aisle. aisle well. If you're yeah. the, if you're in the middle, that sucks. You you're spent like, like seven you're grand, like, or seven hundred so bucks see. to 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 see uh, some some person in front of you recline their seat. Yes, yeah. and have a nap. Actually, I didn't even think about that. There's also <laughs> been like uh, airlines. Um, you know, because like some airlines have like top not chefs and stuff that yeah. do there. So, um, for example, I think there's one... For example, for example. Am I saying that funny? No. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> in Australia, <laughs> one of the airline caterers, Gate Gourmet, has started selling frozen meals of their airline meals and, like, delivering them straight to the public, wow. right? People are ordering them. Um, what? Then you have <laughs> what? other people... What's wrong with people? Well, you've got other people in other countries. For example, this has been big in Asia recently. So also doing the, either the flights to nowhere or um, not even leaving the tarmac. So you like you can, you go through everything. You go through like <laughs> you go through check-in and security. Yeah. You get on the plane. Um, you just like have a little look around the plane or whatever. Come back and then you go to um, their food hall area and eat uh, an in-flight meal there. Wow. And... Singapore airline have just opened up a little um, pop-up restaurant and all the chairs in the restaurant it's like it looks like an airplane Aeroplane. yeah wow. so it's like they're sitting in the airplane seats and they're like eating the airplane food and stuff like that and everyone's like loving it so I get like I get that airports could do a lot like an airport is a big space with lots of shops and restaurants and like, yeah. you could have raves and all sorts of yeah. things, right? Oh. Well, not with COVID, but you know what I mean? Like you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. could make the most of that space. With social distancing, you can watch a massive movie like in yes. one of those tunnels. Like, you can have a big screen and everyone could just sit social distance-wise. Yeah. 
But the bit getting on the aeroplane, that seems like <laughs> that's the worst part of my trip normally. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, who's into that? Like, bit? I'm going when through I, when I go, passport when control. I go overseas, like I, I try not to remember the plane ride. <laughs> I want to enjoy getting there. Yeah, and then enjoying my time. Then, well, the, the plane one- ride is just my transportation to a good time. I think the one where they allowed them to get on the plane was in Taiwan because I think they the Songshan Airport had finished a big upgrade and they wanted to sort of like show it off to the people. So they had um, 60 passengers get boarding passes and do the whole tour of the Airbus A330 and like flight attendants like chatted to them on it and then they and then they got off and then they <laughs> and then yeah in the food court they had their meal. But like everyone's like, yes, I need me some. Have plane. you seen the video in this art school? No. Uh, some of the videos. There's people like faking uh, holidays, like, um, <laughs> and there's a guy, and he he looks like, so it looks like he's sat next to an airplane window, and you can quite clearly see that on the other side of the window, it's um like an iPad or something playing like what the ground would look like. No. Nice. Like, how has he? How has he simulated <laughs> the window though? Because he got a circular window. Like, where did he find a circular window? <laughs> and basically, he's got a sheet over his head. And when he zooms out, he's sat right next to his washing machine. No. <laughs> and inside the washing machine <laughs> is meant to be the outside of the plane. <laughs> Some people are uh, clever, aren't they? They are clever. <laughs> I had... um. She, she, that's funny. <laughs> it's awesome. I had... um. I had. Uh, I, I just watched this video um, and there's this guy and he's pissed off. He's pissed off because the mother and the child have the middle seat and the window seat. And this guy's got the aisle seat, right? And but this mm. mother and child have been just horrible passengers, right? They've been just like laughing and have enjoying themselves where this guy has to put up with all their noise. So they mm. went to the toilet, but this the son and the son and mother were doing a time lapse of the clouds. So they mm. set up the phone so there was a time lapse of the outside. So what he did when they went to the toilet is that he he looked up big boobs. And then he flashed it no. where the phone was to no. ruin the time lapse. On the <laughs> so when they play it back, you'll just see random big boobs go, ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, but, but, who told that on. story? Was it the man they that told the story? They were being horrible because they're having a good time? Yeah. Like, yeah. He, what kind of Scrooge was that bloke? Nah, you know what it's like. It's like you're on the aeroplane and you, you want to forget about the, the whole flight. You just want to get to your destination. And these guys are yeah. making a, like a lot of noise and making it like, you know, you're just trying to focus on just, you know, getting to the mm-hmm. destination. You know what I mean? Siege? You know what I'm talking I about. Fa- I would have farted on them. <laughs> farted on them? <laughs> farted. What did you say? <laughs> That's what he said, Maxie. I, I would have got up. I would have got up and put that one rip and hooked off. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. You're like, you're still stuck there with them. <laughs> what kind of suggestion is that? <laughs> It'll shut them up. I mean, I, I'm not sure it would shut them up. <laughs> I'm not convinced that will just calm the situation down and like get, get, you, get you what you want. If it's in the air, they can't throw you off. <laughs> and you can't be charged for flatulence. <laughs> oh, because that 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 put a stop to your other plan, with, where you can be charged for flatulence, right? <laughs> yeah. So like, it's not like they can arrest you when you land. Hey, you farted. I'm sorry, I like, got like a stomach issue. <laughs> Oops. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. But oh. what I want to know is the who setup- told the story of the boobs. Was it the guy who said I had this? I did this thing, or was it the the <laughs> child and mother? I no, like, it. so he, he had a he had a he had someone recording him about like putting the picture of the boobs on the oh. phone. Yeah, <laughs> Just, okay. I mean, it's pretty like I don't I don't condone what he did, but I think it was pretty creative what he did. <laughs> <It> was like, <laughs> I like it, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. past we've spoken about the isolated amazon tribes right haven't yes. we yes okay mm-hmm. and because uh, a missionary was killed last year or the year before yeah while i was out there it's happened again yeah but this time not with a missionary 
It's a, a top Brazilian expert. His name was Raili Franciscato. He's 56. He's dedicated three decades to um, to trying to help the... Um, help or learn? Study? Study, but also uh, protect. Oh, protect. Yeah, protect the isolated tribes. Um, Is that and- a cool name? Yeah, he has got a cool name. He's got a cool name. He died that's, that's, earlier that's this month. A cool name. What just was a couple his name? weeks ago, I think. Raili, is it? Raili? Franciscato. It's like a wine. Francis. Yeah. He helped create cool um he helped create an NGO which was the Caninde Ethno Environmental Defense Association. Um and he I guess he was there at the moment because there has been some issues with the new Brazilian president and the clearing of Amazonian rainforest yeah. um, to make way for farming and mining of stuff, right? And obviously the tribes are not liking the land being cleared, so they're retaliating. So this guy was coming out to sort of see what's happening. Mediate. He was with police and he was shot with an arrow in the chest. <sighs> The policeman said he pulled the arrow out himself, ran about 50 meters, and then collapsed and died. Where was he, he, he pulled the, the arrow in? You, well, that's what I thought, but he pulled it out, maybe as a just a reflex. Yeah, maybe. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Wow. No. 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 I couldn't either. I just thought that part was fascinating. I was like, what? he pulled the arrow out of his. It got him just above the heart, pulled it out, cried out, pulled it out, and ran. And then collapsed and died. Um, but yeah, this particular tribe um, is usually known to be peaceful. But um, when they usually see them, there's a big group of them. Mm. Whereas this time there was only five and they were wearing their war paints. So they were They're after already. revenge. They were ready for yeah, war. they think that it was most likely they were after revenge. But they war. weren't aiming for him. He was just the guy. They or could did have they been. Know? They might have extremely good aim. They probably might have been. No, what I'm him. saying is if they knew it was him. Did they know? Or was they it? Know who, I'm assuming they don't know. Him, they right? can't tell the difference oh. between a friend and a foe. They don't. They have an inability to do that, so they're just defending. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Um, but yeah, they were almost certain that it was a response to to what's ever been going on. But yes, the president, Mr. Bolsonaro, um, has like been questioning the need for these indigenous reservations, and they're saying these what people have mean? too much land. Um, they it's don't need all that land. land. Um, <laughs> it's their land. A lot of the farmers around yes. the Amazon forest, because if you could look you, at the pictures. Wait, could you imagine if someone, like under that logic, right, if you had a house and go, you have three bedrooms, only two bedrooms for you, we'll take one bedroom. Away. No, this is my house. You can't just take part of my house. Well, there's about 100 isolated tribes living yeah. in the different areas. But if you have a look at the pictures from space of the Amazon rainforest, you can actually see how much land has been cleared. Yeah. Like it is crazy amount. Um, and they kind of live on one corner of it. And then right next to them is where the clearing's happening. Um, and then there's also farmers in the, I guess, the grasslands next to it. And they're also like, they've got too much land. We need more land, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is horrible. So, yeah. So, um, Mr. Bolsonaro has been turning a Should blind eye to loggers and farmers and stuff like that. Doesn't the Amazon provide us, like, a majority of our oxygen? It's the world's, what do they call it? The world's lungs. Isn't that what they call it? Mm. Is that what they call it? Yeah. So the, the Amazon rainforest is so, the world's lungs. So, 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 this idiot has decided... We can live with no lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he wants he, yeah. the world's lungs. I've never heard of that. That's actually that's a good visual. Yeah, I like it. And well, with the bushfires there as well, or rainforest fires, that's mm. been burning heaps of it as well. It's not looking good for the Amazon rainforest. But I wonder not where good the world for us. What are we going to breathe when all of it's gone? There's other trees. <laughs> yes, but there's a lot of people as well. Yeah, I, I know, but <laughs> there were trees. <laughs> Shut those trees like, down there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying we we kind of need those trees because that we is definitely where we really definitely need. Yes, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. So yeah. if he cuts them down, we won't have enough trees to breathe in the carbon dioxide and turn it into oxygen. Mm. Mm-hmm. For us to live, 
Yes. Uh, that's a. So why doesn't very... someone just? Yeah, someone should kick this person in the head. It's it. <laughs> it's it's hard. Cause I reckon it's... if you walked over there and fired on them, <laughs> dead, I'd, uh, I'd do the trick. Don't do that. You'd kill the rest of the Amazon. Don't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be too much. I I I I have some blue cheese for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, so it says. Very mature Animals, podcast, plants, supposedly. and humans would all face dire consequences if the Amazon rainforest vanished. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of habitat for a lot of animals. A lot of it absorbs two uh, billion tons of carbon dioxide a year, which is five percent of the annual emissions. I wonder. I wonder if he understands, like the president understands, when you f with the ecosystem. And I understand he wants to put farming there, but all the insects that are in the Amazon will go onto the plantations of the farming. Like oh. that's what happens, right? Like. If an uh, insect doesn't have somewhere to live, it'll latch onto the something else. Something else. That's what they do. They adapt. And, and a, they adapt to other stuff. And us, uh, us being in quarantine and kind of staying at home at the moment, hasn't this guy realized when we fuck with the mother with mother nature, mm. she fucks with us back? Mm. <laughs> do you know what COVID is? Mother nature. Fucking, Apparently, there's fucking more fires. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't think Maxi agrees with you, CJ. <laughs> I reckon COVID's but Mother Nature giving us the two middle fingers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take that, you little bitches. <laughs> yeah. You're making the planet hot? I'm going to cool it down. What, uh, <laughs> while um, Emma's looking at um, um, some other facts, I just wanted to, because Emma, Emma said that the Amazon is the world's lungs, right? Mm-hmm. I wonder what other body parts, like where, where's the arsehole of the world? Or where's the... <laughs> Where's the <laughs> armpits of the world? Or the armpits. The armpits. Okay, <laughs> where, where, the, which one of them the, the armpits? Okay, the, I, I know where the arsehole is. The arsehole is actually in America at the moment. Oh, in the White come House. Come on, man. <laughs> it might be the coccyx. That's where the arsehole, arsehole is. Because arsehole is useful, Siege. A coccyx is useless. A coccyx is the useless? Coccyx. Useless? Is what does it do? Well, if it wasn't there, you'd sink back into your chair more. <laughs> <laughs> is that you'd it? be rounded boy you'd be like oh every time you sit down you'd roll back what's the use of a coccyx <laughs> let's look up what's the use of a coccyx isn't that like where it's a tail used to be or something you can't, yeah. you can't, you can't twerk without it <laughs> hey you can't twerk without it <laughs> <laughs> have you seen those girls that just like they don't twerk they just move their whole back I know yeah. Like They're like an ironing board Yeah <laughs> They don't have a coccyx Like you, <laughs> well, they don't have a coccyx. you look at it, you, you look at them They're yeah. like flat up front And flat at the back Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then you just see like a like <laughs> This is a twerk <laughs> Guys <laughs> Alright no more no All more. power to those skinny girls Trying to twerk I got nothing against them Yeah Your no. thing. All power to them <laughs> <laughs> Yeah but you, you ain't gonna get No shade in the summer <laughs> <laughs> or warmth in the winter um, Is there anything else you want to say about the Amazon? Uh, not really I was just having a look at some of the, the, the pictures from space Yeah Of um, Apparently there's more fires that have just started back up Are they are they man-made fires? Or are they fires yeah, I that mean, are A lot of them have Some been. could be Yeah I mean it doesn't take much They're, try, they're, try, they're trying to burn them out have a look at this one. I'll put it in the group actually because it's crazy. Is, is, is fires essential in um in the Amazon? I think it helps with regrowth, doesn't it? I, I I know in the in the Australian outback it does, but I don't know in the Amazon. I don't know if the Amazon. I I I assume a forest is a forest. It should just help with regrowth. No, we don't. No, no, no. Why we got we got we got bush. We got bush. Is in a Australia. rainforest a forest? Yeah, rainforest is different. They got a different. Okay. Ecosystem. Ecosystem, Our I think. Fires good for the Amazon. I didn't even know that. Mm, Max, Max it's, essential, it's essential for Australia. That's why we backburn and stuff. Because that helps regrowth. Backburn? Yeah. Yeah, but I thought we backburn to cool stop phrase. the fires. We, we, it's to stop the yep. fires. It's con- to stop um, so that the spread of fires. So it's once it, Yeah. So once it catches, it doesn't like just spread mm. like how it has. But also like them backburning... It helps it's for clearing. yeah, the the shrubs and eighty percent more what? fires this year than there have been in the past. Like eighty, eighty percent more than normal. This year, twenty twenty, yeah, or last year. It said what? No, it says it was an eighty percent jump compared to the number of fires the country experienced over the same period in two thousand eighteen. More than half of those fires took place in the Amazon. 
Wow. 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 That's insane. Hmm. Does so, it say that um, so fires are good for Amazon or what? for the Amazon or not? Um, I haven't got to that bit yet. If it does, because I remember Maxie telling us like, oh, like if you burn trees, the carbon dioxide from the yeah, from the it trees releases into, releases the, into yeah. the atmosphere, which, which is, is bad. 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 Really bad. I sent you guys a, a link. Have a look at it. And that gives you an idea just about the deforestation. I'm just oh, thinking, like, wow. When we, can no, when, we, when we can no longer breathe and these farmers have got heaps of land but they're all dying because they can't breathe, was it really worth it? Yeah. How about no? <laughs> well, let me oh. just Google that. <laughs> Computer says no. <laughs> no. Let me Google that. <laughs> no. Oh, look at it. It was so green. Really it was green before all that shit. Oh, there's a time lapse here. Of what? If you click on to is that actual br- image, it takes you to the Earth Observatory, NASA Earth Earth Observatory, mm. and there's an actual time lapse from 2000 and from 2000 to 2012. I guess we can only just like I don't know, just it's stop Amazon killing the Amazon vein for us from space. Is that the link you sent, like Google Images? Yeah, I'll send you the time lapse one directly. Hang on. Directly, like some of them are obviously um, photoshopped. Photoshopped. Oh, well, some you can't of them. See fire from space, like when it shows all the fire. Whoop. The old classic noise. You can just click through below to go for it fast. Oh, it's you can start seeing there's the clearing Crazy, and stuff. Huh? Yeah. Oh, mate. I think people are just stupid sometimes. Mm. It's hard yeah. to breathe off one lung. Yeah. It's hard to bring it's hard, even more hard to breathe off none. Yeah. Anyway, All um, right. Yes, and it's very sad about Riley uh, losing his life. Yeah, that's sad too. Um, hopefully there's more people there to help protect the isolated tribes of the Amazon. I wanted to know if you were in the wild and you were looking for water, how would you f- try to find water? Uh, um, wild, looking for water. I was going to say... Downhill? That's oh, my thing, so. I like that. Yep. Oh, or, or, or dig? Dig, or dig yeah. Um, How about you? Look for a tree. Look for a tree? Yeah. And look, look and for uh, Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sent a link in WhatsApp. This is, it's four minutes, but you can sort of, well, I'll explain it to you while you're watching. Okay. While you're watching. So click on the link. Mm-hmm. Um. So I found this through a uh, an interview that uh, Dave Chappelle was have happening, and he was giving this analogy and stuff, right, about how his career. He used this as an analogy for his career, and how he said no to the millions that he could have earned if he kept the Dave Chappelle show. But essentially, it's about how this bushman finds water in the bush, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And what he does. He uh, traps a baboon by putting salt in a tree, right? In a tree, in this little hole in the tree where he can get his hand in, but he can't take the salt out and he traps him. And because he's got something that he wants to eat, like the baboon can't go anywhere, right? So the bushman captures the baboon, ties him up to the tree and starts feeding him salt. (sighs) Starts feeding the baboon salt, right? So the baboon keeps eating the salt because mm-hmm. he loves salt. And then once the baboon is has enough salt, what it, what happens when you... You need when, water. You need water, right? So he releases the baboon and the bushman follows the baboon to the water. Oh, my wow. God. Yeah, I wasn't going to say that. That wasn't my <laughs> first thought. <laughs> Where did you even get... Like, but then how the question for me then is... How do you find salt? 
So I don't I know. More like I guess I don't know about, e- easier to find than water. <laughs> I don't know about that part. I didn't get salt's easier than water. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I didn't actually ask that. I thought it was just Why genius. Why did he tie like, him to the tree? <laughs> so he could feed him salt. Oh. Why not just give him like heaps of salt and have him just keep throwing salt at him? Yeah, but how like, do you give a monkey? How do you give him salt without putting him on the, tying him to a tree? Yeah. So like if he got to salt, yeah, he'd true, run. True, he'd true. run to his uh, his home. Yeah, but this, yeah, yeah. This way he was feeding the salt, and then. I thought it was pretty genius. I don't know. That's, you gotta be, very, uh, you gotta be um, to do that with a baboon of all animals. Whoo! But did you see the bushman? He's yeah. not wearing sneakers. <laughs> he's not. He's not like you know what I mean. He's not. I thought the, I thought the Air Force Ones. <laughs> he's not from, um, from the it's from the Burbs. He's from like a tribe there, and that's it's pretty like. Is the tribe quite quest? <laughs> I thought it was pretty genius. I like it. How come the other baboons aren't aren't coming to his aid? That's all I want to know. Because he doesn't, he's not screaming for help, is he? Oh, they're not, it's not a chim- chimpanzee. I was getting confused. I was thinking a chimp. What, baboons don't help like, each other? <coughs> but baboons don't help each other? I mean, I'm sure they do, but they're not. They're not helping their friend. Or they're like, hmm, they're too smart. <laughs> they're like, he got he got trapped. We're not going. <laughs> he's trapped. So how, how did he get, get the baboon? But out? look, what do you the mean? guy has to run so fast to keep up with the baboon at the end. Oh, the babe. Bo- look, he is. The I understand. Like- but, like, did you see his feet? He hasn't got Air Force. He's used to running. No, I know. This is not, like, I know for us. It's not that like- fast, is it? Is it? I don't know. He looks like he's doing a fast jog. Oh, it looked like the monkey just, like, Choo. Yeah, the monkey's going super. It looks like the monkey's going super quick. Oh, got there's a legs. heap of water in a cave. All right, so now we know what to do. <laughs> Bring some salt. Bring those salt packets. Make sure we got salt packets. <laughs> Put them in the tree. So how did how did um? So Dave Chappelle was his. What was his analogy? Why he didn't do the Dave Chappelle show? Is he um, saying like you're better off taking salt than water to a? Um, actually, I didn't pay attention to it because <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't. If you have a chance, if you have a chance, Find right, out for you. look up on um, Google about uh, Bushman, <laughs> like type in Bushman, um, uh, baboon, and salt. And actually, the third video down is the um, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle talking about his um, career. Dave Chappelle, baboon, baboon, story. Bushman, baboon, and salt. Uh, yeah. At the same time, just put no. Bushman okay. and Dave I, Chappelle. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, up. I'm seeing this baboon move right now. Yeah. I ain't keeping up with it. Or <laughs> <laughs> um. well, maybe you have to tie a massive piece of string on that baboon so when it goes, yeah, you could just follow the string. Like, How the hell they came up with this? I mean, it's very elaborate. I mean, through observation, he had to trap the baboon's hand in a tree. <laughs> like how? Like, <laughs> wow. How did, he, how did he get the baboon's hand out of the tree? He just pulled it, I think. Did I he? No, he, so he would have showed the other salt on the other on the tree. He goes, I got more salt. Yeah, but the baboon's hand was stuck because no, he was boon, trying to get out. The baboon could get his own hand out and then he walked over and pulled the baboon's hand out. But I mean, I guess if he he built the hole in the first place, he could just make the hole bigger. But in yeah. that video, he didn't. He just pulled his hand he out. Maybe he tugged it harder. Ay, ay, ay. That's Poor cool. Yeah. I like that. Hmm. Mm. That was that's very clever. Yeah, very clever. So clever. I liked it, but not unsurprisingly clever. If you know what I mean. Like, yes, yes. I was just intri- like I saw it. I was like, "Wow, that's clever!" But I was more intrigued. There, I was there'd like, be so wow. many tricks you would learn from like Bushmen. tribes and yeah. Bushmen. That they, they'd have so many of these. I'd imagine. Yeah, I don't know why, but you know, Bear Grylls. When I see him do stuff, I'm like less impressed. But when I see a native do it, I'm like, "Oh, that's that's mad. <laughs> that's mad respect." <laughs> I, I, I like a little Bear Grylls. Bit racist in that case. No, I'm picking on the poor white guy. Nah, because Bear Grylls has got like rich white guy. He's got um, a lot of the modern necessity, like modern stuff. Well, whereas the mm, Bushman, like ones. Bushman just used the whatever's around him, like salt. Yeah, and I guess like the other thing is the people like if you like, if you come from places where we come from, you practice this stuff in like the comfort of knowing yeah. if it goes wrong you do something else right but this is like purely born out of necessity yeah, yeah. if you don't do yeah. this you die yeah you know so if you get it right you're like you try 10 of the tricks if none of them work you're like oh never mind you try the 11th if it works you're like oh look what I can do yeah yeah. but but you would have been dead by that point if you were actually in the wild <laughs> yeah you would have <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? it's like trying card tricks and then showing me I'm like I just know you practice that for years that's yeah. not the <laughs> <laughs> the practice part's the impressive thing you know yeah the consistency not of the, the cleverness part. yeah mm. 
Oh, that's cool. I like that, Dev. Thank you. No worries. That's Good what one. I do. Mm. Good one. I just pushed over the monkey's hands. <laughs> <laughs> you want what? got bad hand in his first year's hell. He couldn't get it out because he was gripping the salt. Because yeah. if you look at that bit yeah. there, his hands when his hands like that, it's too big to get out. Do you remember mm. the uh, the Simpsons? And you see how Homer got his hand trapped up in the vending machine, right? And they they were like they had the firemen come, right? And they're like, so we're going to have to cut off your arm, right? And they go, no, 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 don't do that, whatever, right? Anyways, they have a discussion and they go back to Homer and they say, Homer, so are you holding on to the packet of chips? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, can you release the packet of chips? And as soon as he <laughs> released it, he could take his hand <laughs> <laughs> machine. It was the same. <laughs> oh, my goodness. CJ has left the podcast. Do you remember last week and we talked about the um, humpback whales that were yeah. up Kakadu River? Kakadu River. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and uh, Maxie loved it. He said it was so Australian. It was like East Crocodile oh. River or something like alligator. that. Alligator. East Alligator, was it? Um, well, good news. Those whales are now back in the ocean. Yeah. Which is cool. Bad mm. news. In Tasmania, this, over the last few days... 450 pilot whales have become beached in shallow waters. What's happening? What's happening out there? Right? 450. The first time I saw this on the news, there was 200. And I was like, what? What the heck? And then they didn't know why. But they were like, wow, okay, this is going to be a mammoth rescue effort. And most of them are not going to survive. They've so far yesterday. I had an, I saw an update. They'd managed to release about twenty four, right? Yeah. But so as they're releasing, like time consuming, releasing another two hundred and fifty beached over the next the next couple of days. What? So they're releasing some of them that they released re beached yeah. because they're extremely social animals, and they re they actually re beached to be back with their family or Are their you friends. Kidding? Yeah. And apparently this is quite common where if one whale beaches, the others either they'll follow because they're disoriented um, or they will go to die with their family. Wow. That's yeah. loyalty. This reminds me of when your mum says like, no, if you do something silly because your friend did it. And then you said, <laughs> if Archie jumped off a cliff, would you do that? Would you do it? <laughs> well, yes, I would, mum. <laughs> That's what these whales are saying. I know. <laughs> So, and obviously, um, majority of those are, are probably going to die because they just literally can't get can't to get them, them in can't time. Get them they can't That's get to horrible. them in time. And if they do, they re-beach or some of them re-beach. Apparently, this has happened in the past where hundreds um, were beached and uh, they had to create a human blockade of hand, like people stood hand to hand. To, to block stop, whales? Yeah, to stop the whales from re-beaching. What? Yeah. A whale? Yes. A human hand stops a whale. <laughs> a human hand chain. It was a human oh, chain. chain of hands. Yes. <laughs> chain of human hands stops a whale. Let me rephrase yes. that. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That's crazy. Literally. I know. Um, <laughs> Dory. What? They need Dory, Maxie. They're, Don't come here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're apparently extremely, extremely emotional. Yeah. Um, and the bonds between the whales are, are likely beyond what your humans can feel. Yeah. Um, are they emotional though just because they're like about to die? Like we, we're seeing them in their last moments. Not, so of course not they're going to get emotional, right? Apparently there's a doc well-documented example of... Um, a whale this documented one, example. A whale documented. <laughs> this one pilot whale was carrying its dead calf for like days because oh. of the oh, bond. That's sad. Yeah, it's so sad. Um, mm. And yeah, but the the uh, there's 450 stranded beached whales around um, Tasmania at the moment. You know, I've never ever seen these whales in an aquarium. What? A pilot whale. I've never seen a pilot whale. I don't know if I have either. I'm not sure. They're 7.6 meters long. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen a whale in an aquarium. A whale? Kill a whale, orca. <laughs> That's have not a whale. We, have we seen one? No, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, well, That's these not a whale. pilot whales That's not, aren't... It's a dolphin, isn't it? 
These pilot mm. whales are dolphins as well, actually. Oh, they're not. Okay. Yeah, are they? But, what yeah. is it with these people <laughs> naming these things? What? Yeah. But why is it called a pilot whale? I don't know. It sounds like it's um like the pre-release of the real whales, you know? We'll have these pilot <laughs> whales, see how they go. And then we'll have like the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, they got me for a second. I was like, huh? And then for some reason, <laughs> even though they're beaching themselves, they went on and made the real whales. Yeah. <laughs> like the pilot whales aren't working. You need to fix those first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are these so, known as something else? Bottle bottle nose whales? No. Okay. But these pilot <laughs> whales, they said this has been happening like the since, since the 1990s when they were watching it. They've had 30 different stranding events. It's crazy. Um, between 1919 and 2008, it says. Um, and lots of like, similar events occurred in New Zealand where hundreds of long fin pilot whales were stranded in 2018 and 2017. Yeah. The majority died in those cases. Like, so yeah. I wonder, like, is, is this they just don't know they why. do? Like, they don't know why. Uh... They're like, maybe it could be due to lack of food because apparently they, they eat squids, uh, squid of varying... Lengths. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say bigness. <laughs> Definitely not a word. Um, (laughs) But so they're thinking one, well, one theory is the food shortages. Um, Another theory is electromagnetic fields that disorient them, um, possibly from big ships or whatever. Yeah. Um, They could also be following a sick or distressed pod leader. Um, But yeah, once they are obviously beached, it's difficult to swim back. And apparently a lot of them drown because they can't, move if like let's say the water's just above and they can't get above the water they oh, drown oh they drown yeah <sighs> yeah um, but a lot of the deaths like are also the caused by I think, stress i feel like that's the worst way to die yeah drowning drowning because when you're in massive for me. pods for me there's sub pods within the big pods mm. so they've got like one family and friends unit there another unit there but when they become beach they all get it mixed up and they're like They've met, like, where's my family? Like, where's my friends? I don't know you type thing. And they're, they're all stressed out and they just die. I know, it's wow. really sad. So I don't know how many they'll be able to save. But, yeah, I don't know what's going on. And apparently they might just lose a whole generation of... Or there seems waves. to be a lot of them. There's only 200,000 of these particular whales in the Southern Ocean and Antarctica. Uh, in the you know, Southern like Ocean? When, when mm. people say there's 200,000 other species... Like a big species as well, like a mammal, big mammal. Is that a lot? I don't think so. Because like, how, how, how there was like hundred million humans for a long time, right? And then we suddenly went into seven billion, eight billion. Yeah. Like what is a what is a good amount for a species? Because I feel like yeah. I only think what humans are, and we're completely skewed. Like, the, unless yeah. you're an insect, you shouldn't be that many. Like, what is a normal oh. amount for? A... I feel like that's a lot. I feel like that's Do a lot. Two hundred thousand in one area. That's not including the other species. Well, like one subspecies. Yeah. What's it called? Subspecies? Yeah. Yeah. Breed? If yeah. it's a dog, breed. That's what I don't want. know, but it says, the, for the, for example, with these ones, um, like if what can happen is inbreeding will happen and then... Are you reading this? Yeah. Huh. So their population becomes further at risk due to inbreeding and that also it decreases their general fitness and ability to adapt to changes so it it can slowly just die out but can they do interracial breeding interracial (laughs) like what's the other dolphins what are what's another dolphin can they breed with other dolphins or not i have no idea i want to another question a marine biologist does do orcas eat other um dolphins Orcas are definitely eat other whales. No doubt. Do, and as orcas, whales or the dolphins? I think they're dolphins. Maxie said. Yeah. Yeah. So do orcas they? Orcas are dolphins. Yeah. Do they eat other dolphins? I don't I'm think sure they, they eat do. other dolphins. They'd be too smart for that. Dolphins are bloody smart. They eat seals. Yeah, seals. Yeah, but humans are smart. But humans kill humans. Yeah. Oh wait, fish yeah. eating or <laughs> yeah. it says fish eating orcas may offer dolphins protection from their dolphin eating cousins. Which, which are, are the killer whales. Killer whales are the only predators that regularly kill and devour Pacific white sided dolphins. What are orcas? There must be fish eating orcas and then other I don't know. There oh. must be different. Interesting. Of orcas as well. huh. 
Man, we know nothing about dolphins and whales. We know <laughs> nothing. <laughs> we know absolutely nothing. <laughs> what there a great listening questions. experience this must be. Can we have a marine biologist, like, please clear up our... If 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 a marine biologist is listening to us... <laughs> who you don't know a marine biologist? <laughs> So we know that um, Australia is known for uh, um, deadly spiders, deadly stuff, deadly snakes. Yep. What else? Soaring heat, mm-hmm. severe drought. Mm-hmm. But if that's storms. not enough to kill you, thongs. Apparently, <laughs> there's four types of trees that can also kill you. Yeah. Just by brushing past it. So. Just by brushing past it. Literally brushing. Oh. oh, actually, no, 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 no. Oh. I tell a lie. Sorry. This particular Ooh. stinging tree, I don't know if it can kill you. Or it possibly can. But let me tell you, it will sting the hell out of you. It Nothing like, I mean, way, way more excruciating than just a little stinging nettle. Or whatever. Is that what they're called? Nettles. Cactus and that. Yeah. You're talking about cactus? No, no. Like the little stinging nettles. Okay. I don't know. Um, Do you have them so, in Australia? I don't think so. I don't think they're well, very popular in the UK. I think here mm. they have thistles, not the stinging nettles. Thistles. You know, like the thistles, <laughs> which got a little yes, little tiny thorn thingies. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, this particular there's one one there's four there's four stinging trees. We're talking about one of them. It's called the Gimpy Gimpy. Yeah. Which is a cool name. Sort of. Mm. Um, <laughs> and. Well, the real name is something crazy like, oh, I don't know, dendro, dendrocnide, dendrocnide moroides See, or something cool. like that. See, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, okay. Did, that's you, like... did you make that up or are you reading that? <laughs> no, like I said it it's wrong It's just completely. something along these lines. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like, uh, like, it just looks like the most boring. It can either be like low lying, like a little bush or mm. like a big tree. It just looks boring, like nothing. Yeah. It's just a little fuzzy, whatever. But if you just gently touch it or brush past it, it gives you the worst sting ever. It's a potent plant and it apparently is likened to um, trapping your hand in a car door repeatedly for days. What? (laughs) Repeatedly for days? And that's after the worst pain has worn off. So that's the next level down. Gosh. Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, Don't believe it. No way. apparently so excruciating um it grows in northern new south wales and mm. southern queensland um to the cape york peninsula i don't even know where this is um at the, the top top oh, okay cape york peninsula i think that's the most northern part but even from northern new south wales as well some animals and insects and stuff live on it and they can eat it with no issues yeah the mulberry like seeds are dispersed by birds but yeah apparently if you, it turns into like a self-injecting hypodermic needle. Apparently, that's what they describe it as. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like some sci-fi stuff. Like, yeah, it sounds like it. And they have these like we, we're worried about the animal, but it's actually the trees and the plants that are going to kill you. You know, yeah. Maxi, I wonder. You know, because you, you brought it up, it, it popped in my head. I wonder how much of the sci-fi world is based on actual nature. I think a lot oh, of it yeah. is, isn't it? And the, yeah. Depends on like the type of like some people when they do it they take loads of inspiration from the natural world and others might. But I reckon if you go deep into the ocean or something or a place oh, that we yeah. haven't seen, oh, yeah, that's yeah. just a sci-fi world anyway. That is like, a sci-fi world. <laughs> and it's like, real. What is going on? It's real. It's yeah, not it's even. Real. It's nature. I don't it's know. It's just sci. It's yeah. not sci-fi. It's, <laughs> it's sci. science. <laughs> <laughs> like a science, I guess you could call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you ever watch that genre sci? <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch it. Um, <laughs> this apparently, you know, like Aladinia, where you no, um, it's Aladin, where you like, where it's like, <laughs> if you there's a patch on your skin and it's just that patch only, where if it's brushed, it brushes against the clothes or it's just touched or in the shower, ever, and it's like oh, so painful. No. So this causes that after. Oh wow, you don't know what I'm about? No, you never had that. I don't. But also. Is it, an, is, this, it, is it a condition added in you or just anybody yeah. can have it? Oh, okay. Um, some people can just have it randomly and other people have it like constantly. Um, yeah. 
I've had it before. It's like, you know when you've had... Is that a white spot? No, it doesn't like change colour on your skin. It's similar to... Oh, what's it similar to? Oh. You know when you have like... Uh, it feels like you've got cold in your body and your body's like really sensitive to touch. When you've got a cold? In your body, like... And it's like your like parts of your body might be sensitive to touch. No. Like even just your clothes just brushing what is, against What's this it. called? You've got me intrigued. What's this called? Allodynia. Alla. Allodynia. Allo. Sounds like a nice Dinia. like dish. <laughs> That you'd eat in Sardinia. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. I don't know what. <laughs> maybe in Sardinia. <laughs> what language do they speak in Sardinia? I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, no. It's, it said it in Spanish. I don't it's, know why it said def- <laughs> definitio. I don't know why it did that. <laughs> Definition. But you know what's so incredible? This particular gimpy gimpy, even when it is dead, it can still have the exact same reaction if you touch it. Even if a scientist, let's say, has collected these leaves and they've got them in a collection and they've had them for decades or whatever and you touch one, same thing. That's the same as snakes, it right? doesn't like you Like if you kill a snake, they still have the venom in the fangs. They still got one more. Yeah, but more. they wouldn't be able to. Oh. So even if you prick yourself, even if it doesn't, like if you go up to the fangs and then you prick yourself, it injects Huh. Really? I think I th- there's like a. It's always ready to go if you pop it. Yeah. It's like it's last laugh in life. Well, I don't know. If you it's... think I'm dead, but gotcha. <laughs> it's a bit like if you get a vasectomy, you're after you still you get got it, one. Still yes, got about you yes. still got a few left. <laughs> yes, got a few pumps Is left. That real? Yeah, it's real. That's real. That's no joke. My friend had a vasectomy about two weeks ago, and he told me all oh, about it. <laughs> yeah. Do you know the, the, that was one thing I took from it? Do you know the other thing I took from it? What? He Don't said, now when he goes to the toilet, right, like <laughs> in the recovery phase, if you imagine, if you blow up a balloon and then you don't tie it up and then you just sort of let go and you have like the bit at the end just flapping the air all over the place, because that's what it's like going for a toilet at the moment. What? what? Why? <laughs> so take, take the balloon. Yeah. Because <laughs> his skin is now just filled with swollen balls so oh. you imagine that when you blow it up and you put your finger on it so it's not gonna the air's not gonna come out yeah the f- the bit at the end where you blow in that's the penis yeah and then the other bit is just like a massive the massive oh. part is the balls so when you go for a wee you, you've got no control with the oh and it where just the goes. Flap it's gonna point right so when it starts coming out it just goes all over the place <laughs> 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 Yeah, you got pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, now, if you get stung by one of these, you can use diluted hydrochloric acid oh, followed good. by <laughs> waxing strips to take out the hairs. What's that? What did you oh. say? Hydro, hydro... Hydrochloric acid. What's that? Isn't that the stuff that there's, is in bleach and stuff? Oh, okay, yep. But you've got mm. to, it's got to be diluted. Yep. Um, and then hopefully that along with the waxing helps reduce the severity or the length of the the symptoms oh, wow um but yeah i don't know i never i didn't even know about these plants yeah yeah well it's, do we need to know about them i feel mm. like that's just another thing for me to worry about mm. in my little brain if yeah you, if you come to australia you'll be like right where's my worry list yeah don't just go add there, that to the bottom yeah. of the list yeah. <laughs> I, I still don't see it like yeah i don't know Australia scares me. <laughs> I got a feeling that it's just a paradise down there and you guys, there's actually none of this stuff and you guys just keep bringing it up because you don't want people to move there. It's like, the ultimate, it's like North Korea, but in reverse. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. We're going to have to break this down. North Korea, but in reverse. Are you saying they claim it to be a paradise, but actually they've got lots of deadly... Well, not in the terms of deadly stuff, but like when you go there, they have the fake shops and they're like, pretend that they've got like, um, they're really awesome. Like, and they've got all this fresh produce, but it's actually fake. Uh, Or you drive past and it's got fake and it's like, there's images of the inside of a grocery store, but it's like billboards on the inside of the windows just to make it look like it's real. I've I've heard that. What? Yeah. Yeah, Like, it's like fake. Everything's. And they only show like the, um, the delegates and stuff that go there, like the fake stuff. Yeah. But it's not. So they show the delegates the billboards and they're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, good job. <laughs> Have a look. Look it up. Look it up. Oh, billboards are wrong word. Like so what do they show? Where would they take, like, where do they take the delegates that visit Australia to try and make them still believe it's 
a dangerous, scary place to go. Yeah, pick a suburb, mate. <laughs> <laughs> be, be careful what suburb you choose. <laughs> no. They're coming for you. Yeah. Um, oh, that was a good analogy. I like that. Yeah. It's like North Korean reverse. <laughs> mm. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> You should go to Australia, mate. It's like North Korea in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. All right. That was it. That was it. That's We're the done. Last art school? That yeah. Was it. That was the last For another art. week. Oh. All another done and week. dusted. Every Thank single you week we do this. Yeah. Remember, Something's you can also happening. forward an article to us. Just um, hit us up at the B side word at gmail.com. Or just send us a message on whichever platform you're listening from. Cool. And we might just talk about your article. All right, but for now, ciao, ciao. Bye to CJ that's left. See you next week, Alexander. And we'll be back. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> we got to work on our buys. We got to definitely like, need to work on our buys. Our uh, What's wrong with my double buy? <laughs> <Bye-bye. laughs> I feel like we have to say buy in our own language. Wait, what? We're in our own areas. I am in. My so own I'm gonna language. say like <laughs> good day. No, I'm not gonna say. See you later, G'day, mate. See you later, mate. Like, See you later, you kiddo. Say good day. Actually, that is literally a greeting that I get a lot of the time on the phones. Good day, good day. Mm-hmm.